I'm going to start the Happy Conservation Commission meeting for February 22nd. Welcome everyone in attendance here and in the uh, Zoom call. The first up is going to be a continuation of an informal discussion related to the project proposed by the town's BBW for replacement of the head walls on the north and south side of the Colbert and Knightley Road. A file number has not yet been assigned, though a submission has been made to DEP and NHESP by Nick Christofori on behalf of Comprehensive Environmental LLC, the engineer representing the project. The commissioners in the audience may ask any questions and raise any concerns at this time. Once a file number is issued with the DEP commentary and NHESP has reviewed the proposed plan, the commission can schedule a public hearing. So, Basically, we cannot have a formal hearing. nor comes from NHSP. So we're going to have to make a, have a motion to continue this after any other further questions by anybody in the audience. Anybody that wish to continue this tonight? Okay, so. At this time, because we can't do anything further at this moment, our next meeting is in two weeks. So I'm going to look for a motion to continue this hearing. Till, till when? Till March. March 8th. Back up. Till March 8th at 6.30. We'll be here in the senior center room if it's available, I believe. We have to check with Mr. Mr. Chairman, can I ask a question? You may, please. Uh, there is no possible way to grant us permission to start the project under good faith that we submitted our application just to get this going. That is not possible, unfortunately. The two we, okay. we have a formal file number from the DEP where they've acknowledged receipt of the project and have made their comments on it. We cannot order issue any order of conditions and proceed forward. We are trying on our part to work as quickly as possible to help the town. That's why we scheduled this hearing tonight and wait until next month. Unfortunately, we can't continue tonight. That's out of our hands. Okay, so, uh, just wondering, thank you very much. We're gonna do everything we can to help get this through and get it done on time. But, Gary, so, I, got, I got one more question for you. you. You were breaking up a little bit. Um, I, I understand that we need to get a, a file number from DEP and get their comments, but did you also say that we need to hear back from MISA as well? Yes. For MISA, would it be possible to say we get say we get a comment, say we get back from DEP and no comments on the whole project? Um, MISA is really only be weighing in on the southern headwall. So sure. if, if theoretically, if we, get, if we get back from DEP and they're good with it, and you guys are good with the whole project, could we start on the northern head wall while we're waiting to hear back from MISA? That's a tough question. Uh, I'm not expecting uh, a problem with getting the approval from the National Heritage. What you're working on is such a small fraction of that area. You're working in the immediate area of the culvert. And this is a project that I feel it needs to get done and repaired properly as quickly as possible. But we will look into that for the next meeting. Okay. Yeah, that was really my only my only question. Uh, you know, Gary, as you as you brought up, you know, certainly appreciate the board's assistance with this. You know, scheduling the uh, the special meeting tonight. Um, you know, something you didn't have to do, so we appreciate that. Appreciate you trying to work with us on this project. Thank you. So at this time, I would entertain a motion to continue this hearing until 6.30, March 8th. I, I so move. Evan makes a motion, or oh, seconds it. I don't believe there's any further discussion required. All those in favor, I'm not gonna do a roll call. I yeah. It's all unanimous, we're all gonna approve. Yep. So that will be it, unfortunately. I have a question. Yes, Paula. Is it listed on your agenda as a public hearing? Because I don't believe it is. Is cool. on the agenda, it's other business. Um, wait Not a minute. Uh, a public hearing. Well, we did continue. Can, can schedule a public hearing. Uh, it has to be used by the commission. 
against the budget. Your last agenda did not list it as public. Hearing. Can I speak to that question? Yes, go ahead. So the reasoning behind the lack of public hearing being the label is that I was under the impression that it cannot be put on the agenda as a public hearing unless a file number has been issued. So that might be a misunderstanding on my part. Yeah. Is that sure. is that a necessity to have the file number? No, it's not a necessity okay. to have a file number. Okay. We did we made a motion to continue the hearing at the last okay. meeting. That, that is a vocabulary mistake yes. on my part. Yes. So yes. moving forward, I will make sure that it's listed right. as a public hearing in the text documents when they're posted. Right. However, because it wasn't on the agenda as a public hearing, you opening it as a public hearing and continuing it as a public hearing last meeting and this meeting just is a violation of the open meeting law because your agenda does not specifically state what um, is happening at the meeting. Well, we made it, the last meeting was, was official. We no, got a hearing. it's not listed as a public hearing. I, I can confirm it was not listed as a public hearing. I wrote it as I think an informal discussion. Um, I don't remember the exact verbiage, but I, I was under the impression we needed a file number in order to have it labeled as a public hearing. And that's, I, I so what, what does the legal publication state? You like from have, the state or? You have two different issues here. One, they had to put a legal ad in the paper stating that it would be a public hearing. Second one is... No, wait, time out. We, never, we have not done a legal notice yet for this project. So we yeah. do not have a public hearing okay. to continue. So on paper, it's fine out in, in the words that have been spoken in the meetings, right. it's incorrect. So, right. okay, just in terms of technicalities, so, right. thank you, Nick, for clarifying. I was actually going to ask you before uh, no, you were gone. No, we have not done a butter notification yet, nor have we done the legal notice for this project yet because we, we're waiting to get that file number from DEP once we get that file number, as I understand it, then we will be on the meeting for an official hearing, and then we will do the public notification. If we don't have to wait for a file number to do the publication of a hearing. Okay, I'll do it for next meeting then. Go ahead and do it for March 8th, I, I stand corrected, so it's not a continuation. Mm -hmm. But go ahead and advertise this, that's been five business days prior to March 8th. So go ahead and advertise the hearing for 6.30, March 8th, and at that point, if we still don't have a file number, we we can we can continue with that hearing. Okay. Yep. I will I will do that. I'll get it in the paper probably this week or first first thing next week. Um, and Shyla, I will send you full size plans as well. Okay. Uh, awesome. Thank you. I was incorrect. I thought you're right. It wasn't an informal hearing or not hearing, but informal discussion at the last meeting. So, but we'll get this all corrected in time for March 8th then. Okay. Great. And thank you on record this meeting is recorded so this conversation and clarification is public record so thanks for bringing so, that to our so attention even if we had a file number that would have been a moot point mm -hmm. because it's not official here okay I didn't know, I didn't know it was so. perfect all right well, we're all on the same page now <laughs> all good <laughs> okay anything else did you have any questions before we yeah um i've heard two different things and i know it will probably be clarified when the final plans come in I have heard that there is one foot being cut off of the culvert, and I have heard that they are going, they are not cutting one foot off, and they are going to patch the interior of the culvert. And I'm wondering which, because that right now it's about 22 feet width from inside head wall to inside head wall. When you replace it with what's there, it will now be about 20 feet from head wall to head wall, inside to inside, unless you go out into the brook. And then if you take a foot off, it will now bring it to about 19 feet head wall to head wall, which could impact farm equipment, especially when they have the harrows, because if they're traveling on 47, they're usually hanging out and they need clearance from the edges. So that was just one question I had. The Falco guy told us last time. Wasn't the yes, head wall? As far as the woods goes, he said it was going to be at least a so little bit. Nick, 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 are you still there? Yep. Want to address that, please? Can you? Can you? At this time, we have to wait till next, to March 8th. 
I, I'm happy to talk about, about it. it. Um, so the way it is right now is we we want to we don't want to narrow the pavement. Um, and as as the audience member says, um, the way it is right now is we're going to we're, we're looking at probably reducing say like that one foot of non paved area. Um, adjacent to that roadway and and the really what the reason behind that is is we're trying to balance keeping the roadway you know as wide as possible through this already narrow area um, and also you know reducing the environmental disturbances because obviously you know the further out we go um, beyond the existing headwalls will we'll be permanent impacts and, and those kinds of things so so there'll be more disturbance um, I mean personally I I would I would like to keep this thing like, you know, as wide as possible, basically. So if the board would allow me to, to say, push out some of these impacts, you know, talking two feet on each side, uh, that would be my preferred alternative. Okay. Makes sense. Well, bring that up at the next meeting or the MRVs. Okay. Yeah, let me make, I'll make a couple brief revisions to the plans then before they're, because technically they're not really, you know, 100% finalized right now because we haven't actually scheduled the hearing. Okay. Um, but let me take a closer look because there was a little bit of, there was a little bit of room in how they were, how we kind of did the, the, the impacts anyway, because we, we did impacts, I think, based on like a theoretical four foot excavation around the head wall and stuff like that. So, so let me take a closer look at it tomorrow and I'll, I'll finalize the plans uh, tomorrow. I'll get you full size plans, and then we can we can talk about it in a couple of weeks and really really knock it knock it down. We really need to get those full size plans finalized into our office as soon as possible, so they can be reviewed. We don't yep. want them before March eighth. Nope, before. nope. I will I will put them in the mail tomorrow. Thank you. So they will be there. So Shyla, you will have them in your possession when you get in next Tuesday. Okay, awesome. Thank you very much for that. You're welcome. Mr. Chairman, can I ask another question, please? Okay, please. I, I, I'm, I'm confused why uh, the design of this project has any bearing on our permitting. Uh, I, I, I'm having trouble understanding that, why uh, the width of the roadway after completion has any bearing on this or has anything to do with environmental impact. I, I was under the impression that the Conservation Commission uh, grants us permission to do a project due to environmental impacts, not structural things with a design of a job. If there's any further impact to the wetlands by widening or whatever work is done, it has to be addressed. No, it's not exempt. Well, it, it's not, it wouldn't be widened. I, I, I'm still confused why the, uh, we're that's talking why, about a structural design. That's why you hired Nick and the environmental firm to permit this for you. They'll have to handle that. They, we, uh, we, 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 we don't design this. We don't tell you how to do it. We just review it. I, I, I understand that, but, uh, it seems to be a, a lot of questions on the design. And I just, I'm curious why we're entertaining that. Because we still don't have a full set of plans showing the final design. There is no final design. We don't have it. We're all still no. talking about it. It, it we, we still haven't got the plans from that. Thank you. <clears throat> Any further discussion? Okay. I'll go on the rest of the agenda. Shall we build correspondence? Do we have anything that we take up? Uh, I don't think so. Okay. And I would have the minutes will be on the next month's meeting. That's fine. It's not urgent. Mm -hmm. Like I said, uh, a lot of the put up so the annual report, give us copies, correct? Mm -hmm. We'll review that. We'll We'll take that up. Do we have time at the next meeting to fill that? Or that be submitted right now? Oh, it's been given to Jennifer. I don't know when she's exactly going to be posting them, but I can get clarification. Okay. I'm sure we won't have a problem. Um, no, it's just a little. The first couple of lines are a little confusing. Okay. You want to address it now, Emma? I don't know. It's just uh, the first. Actually, the first paragraph. 
-hmm. is a little confused. Uh, I realize the way that it printed has some odd spacing. Yes. <laughs> that, really that will be fixed. <laughs> Oh, you know, that is because there were edits that were made that ended up printing weirdly, but that, that's an easy fix. Okay, no, that's okay. You know, I just, uh, as long as the information is correct and whatever we did is, is right, I don't have, uh, I don't have a comment on it except that the first paragraph is, or the second, you know, and then the first. Yep. Uh, yeah, there's there's some words that are missing yeah. uh, in the way that it printed out. That's That's an error of... Yeah. Printing, so I can I can thank you. I can mail you another copy. I'll be in the office tomorrow morning. Okay, we'll take care of those. Thank you. Mm -hmm. yes. And wasn't there two people that resigned in that one? Yes. What, what's that? Two people resigned that one. Yeah. Okay, I didn't know that. Thank so, you. Yeah. And two two members, not yeah. Janet. Right. Okay. Not, yeah. yeah, Janet was staff, like you are. So okay. Janet was right. staff, and the two members resigned. Okay. After call it and got not reappointed. Okay. Right? All right. Thanks for the clarification. I'll make sure that I pass that on to the anything else editor. anyone see here just by quickly reading over it. Okay. No. Um uh, upcoming learning opportunities. Now, it's open space virtual council every Thursday in February. Webinar is one and a half hours with networking afterwards. Topics include ecology, finance, and climate change and social context within community. Feel free to attend. The MACC annual conference registration is open. Webinars are trending from March 1st to March 12th. These are paid events, but all commissioners and staff are MACC members who get the discounted costs and talk to Charlotte about registering and remaining training education budget. So anything else to discuss, Sean? No. Did did you attend uh, APR one the other yes, day? Yes I did. Okay. Hour and a half. Yeah and just as it uh, just as I was gonna go in and attend the Zoom meeting the gutter people came. That's okay. <laughs> and I you know I don't I, apologize. I don't, for think that. You, I don't think you missed much. Pretty uh, <laughs> okay. I'm sure you know but um we, we will be coming down the pipe um, we'll be reviewing information regarding an APR application, but Good. that won't be coming up until right probably March. The Arthur West APR. Yep, that'll, that'll be in March. We'll talk more about it next month. Okay. So we're, we're waiting for a final uh, New West uh, uh, new real estate mm -hmm. appraisal. So the amount that the town may have to contribute uh, could increase as a result of that. We don't have the number yet. Right. What we're going to have to ask for. Time. So with that being said, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Or is there any discussion from the audience? Or coordinate the motion to adjourn. I second. I see a second. I don't know if there's discussion required. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.